Hello, everyone. This is Lauren Israelson, president of UNPA, the United Natural Products Alliance. Um, you are watching our YouTube channel. I'm pleased to invite a guest today, Dr. John Atwater. John is the founder and principal consultant at At Aqua <laughs> Regulatory Services, and John will explain that name to you. Uh, Dr. Atwater has a very distinguished career uh, in science and um, quality systems. Particularly, um, he spent uh, from 2008 to 2020 at USP directing all of their verification programs. Previously, John was at um, Hauser uh, Technical Services in Boulder. This was a very forward-looking company. I knew a number of people who worked at Hauser during that time, and uh, many of them are still in the industry providing very strong technical services to the industry. Uh, Dr. Atwater holds a PhD in analytical chemistry. And with that, John, welcome to our YouTube uh, channel. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Lauren. Glad we to wanted here. to talk. Well, thank you. Uh, we wanted to talk to you because you are a member of UNPA's uh, scientific, technical, and professional uh, group. Mm -hmm. And as such, we've gotten to know you and your skill set. Um, and in fact, have uh, worked out an arrangement whereby you can help provide services to our members right. in this uh, array of technical GMP and quality systems. Uh, mm -hmm. While some critics say that the industry is regulated, that's not true. Uh, the industry is regulated in many ways, and many companies are continuing to grow and need improvements and advice and direction uh, and how to make their products better, um, how to qualify to enter some of the major retailers like Costco uh, that happens to follow a USP verified program. And uh, with that, uh, welcome, and we'd lo would love to have you share a bit more about what you see in the market, what the needs are, um, and how you, you've been able to help and assist companies meet these technical quality and regulatory challenges they face. Okay, well, sure. Uh, well, first of all, just uh, as a way of background too, I, I do have um, you know, a wealth or a wide range of experience in the healthcare industry going from drugs, dietary supplements, foods, and cosmetics. Um, I do have uh, certifications as a quality auditor through the uh, uh, American Chemical Society, um, the, a regulatory affairs certified professional through the Regulatory Affairs Professional Society, and I'm also a uh, preventative controls qualified individual. Um, so it does, you know, extend the range from drugs all the way down to foods and cosmetics. And my primary, well, first of all, regarding the name of my company, Ad Aqua Regulatory Services, is sort of a Latin uh, play on my last name, Atwater, Ad Aqua, is sort of a uh, Latin of, uh, for Atwater. But um, with my regulatory services, I, I've really enjoyed 19 years of service at USP, and I've uh, I left USP about two years ago to start my uh, uh, consulting business because I really wanted to have a greater opportunity to work with companies directly to help them uh, with their uh, quality and regulatory needs. And my primary objective is to really provide superior regulatory advice and services to clients to help them manufacture quality health products. Uh, for consumers and comply with applicable uh, regulatory requirements. And, you know, some manufacturers of FDA uh, regulated health products do not even have the proper resources, knowledge, and experience to properly manufacture products according to regulatory requirements. And that puts them at legal and regulatory risk of uh, non-compliance, which can cost them extensive fines uh, due to FDA enforcement actions and can damage uh, the company's reputation. Um, so um, I do specialize in all six quality systems for good manufacturing practices uh, for health products, incl including quality management, uh, facilities and equipment, uh, materials, production, packaging and labeling, and laboratory controls. And as I indicated, I'm familiar with GMPs for both drug products and ingredients, dietary supplements, dietary ingredients, foods, and cosmetics. So I, I do understand, you know, how to implement GMPs in a way that's uh, that meets regulatory requirements, but is is not overburdensome uh, from a uh, 
cost standpoint. Well, there are many, many companies that'll be glad to hear this. Um, and we've, we've noticed um, as we have uh, done training and advisory work for, in the industry for some years, there are several areas now uh, that are challenging people a lot. One of them is setting specifications. Yes. Um, proper SOPs, really understanding FISMA requirements, um, how they play into dietary supplement GMPs. Um, and of course, PCQI qualification, uh, there's a number of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, we're, as an organization, we have always, always tried to teach and educate industry members uh, to achieve the goals of high quality product. And as you say, reducing risk, improving brand uh, goodwill and market strength. And, and we believe you do that uh, from the ground up uh, is make high quality products and that's, that's the start of any good business. So uh, we're delighted that you are uh, now available to the industry after so many years of good service uh, at USP uh, to help companies. Um, and again, I, I, I would think for those that uh, aspire to be in Costco, uh, I think you would be a particularly valuable resource as you uh, so deeply understand what is expected and what is required and to help guide companies for whom that may be a particular uh, objective um, in their sales and growth plans. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yeah, I mean, Costco and, and the USP verification program relies heavily on USP standards, and, and they can tend to be more rigorous than just the general GMP requirements that are expected of a dietary supplement manufacturer, unless, of course, they label their products as meeting or complying with USP standards. Uh, in which case it's a regulatory requirement that the company uh, meet USP standards. And, uh, you know, I can certainly uh, provide a company with assistance with, um, you know, for example, training, uh, GMP training, and that could cover both a general overview of GMPs or specific topics such as supplier qualification, method validation, or writing specifications. Um, and I can also help them even establish their quality management system, uh, say for document control, change control, or corrective action, preventative actions, deviations, or failure investigations, and even help out with uh, analytical method development and validation or product development support, uh, which would include the establishment of their specifications, stability studies, master uh, or executed batch records. The, you know, I think the most challenges that uh, a company faces is preparing their specifications, uh, whether that be for their ingredients or their finished product, and, and also label review. Um, and, and certainly making sure that uh, if you make any health claims that those are uh, substantiated uh, with uh, uh, sufficient um, uh, background information. All very necessary services. Uh, well, again, I'm delighted to say that uh, you'll be working with UMPA, uh, and so uh, we invite our members who uh, who do need support and help either to contact us directly, and uh, we can put them in touch with you, or we invite uh, any of our viewers and those that get to know you, obviously, to contact you directly, and we'll have your contact information loaded up on the back end of this video. And, and with that, John, I first want to just say uh, how pleased we are uh, that you're a UMPA member, uh, how mm -hmm. much we admire the work that you've done, distinguished professional career, and particularly that you are now uh, an industry member, uh, able to provide uh, that knowledge and expertise to companies that need it. So uh, it's a good day for everybody. And uh, it's also Bastille Day in France. So I'll just throw that in as well. So uh, with that, John, uh, thank you very much. We appreciate you coming on and look forward to working together with you and helping to build a better industry. I look forward to it as well. Thank you. Thank you again.